Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1952 Mercury M1 pickup truck. Really cool truck, guys. Um, neat story behind it. Um, I actually bought this truck out of Florida from a gentleman who has owned this truck since like I believe the late 70s um, he's actually known this truck since he was a little kid um, he uh, he actually his dad used to take him to his dad was a mercury dealer and used to take him to a uh, fishing camp where this gentleman had this truck and they used it like to get ice and stuff they used it at the fishing camp uh, super cool truck and then well anyways this guy as he got older he uh, um, he called his dad and told him, hey, I'm going to sell this truck. Would you be interested in this truck? His dad said, well, I don't even, I'm not a, actually a Mercury dealer anymore. He had sold uh, the Mercury dealership, now was a Chrysler dealer. He said, but my son has always loved that truck. And uh, so he called him. He bought the truck. Um, so like I say, neat history behind it. This is all in a magazine. Uh, he spent... Uh, 10 plus years restoring this truck I believe it was completed right around the year 2000 so it is an older restoration um, it's featured like I say featured in a magazine I've got uh, copies of the article for you and um, and unfortunately he has fallen on some bad health now he is friends with a group of guys that I have probably bought a dozen uh, cars from over the years and uh, they called me I talked to them and uh, like I say bought the truck try to help him out um, it's actually been sitting for four years um, again guys the, the, the trucks nice it, it's an older restoration you can pick the paint as I walk around this thing you're going to see touch-up marks you're gonna see blemishes I'm not trying to pick the truck apart but it's an older restoration it's only got 6200 miles on it um, but don't think that this thing's got show paint on it. Definitely driver quality paint. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, he's fallen on some bad health. Hasn't been able to drive the car in, in over four years. So I bought it, and uh, and like I said, I'm hoping that it goes to a good home. Um, I'll try to get all this stuff in there. It's got Buick, uh, Buick uh, headlight bezels. He's added some teeth in the front grille. I did put new bumpers on the truck. Brand new, $700 with the front and rear bumpers on it. Um, it just the bumpers are kind of getting crusty, so I decided, you know, heck, they were in stock. I bought them. I also put new dual exhaust on it. A um, couple little things that I think we still have to do. It's got a brake light out or something, but um, and I think we do have to charge the air. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill the truck, but don't think this thing has show paint on it. It's an older paint. Definitely something that you can cruise and take your local shows and cruises in. You're not going to be embarrassed of the truck, but don't think that it's got brand new paint. I like I said, I love the I love the story behind it. I thought that was super cool. This is Cypress Wood, um, and he used that because he's out of Florida. There's a story behind that. Uh, they definitely uh, relocated the uh, fuel tank. believe it says in the article this is very close to the actual original color for the truck again new front and rear bumpers new exhaust I apologize about the little sprinkles out of nowhere here it's spitting a little rain I'm not real sure what's going on uh, I believe those are Buick tail lights um, those are Coker classic wide whites uh, 15 6 and 15 8 steel wheels and those are 52 Merc hubcaps on them cool truck fun to drive very rare guys this is the first one I've ever owned I've had a god 100 Fords Mercs not easy to come by got a Mustang two front suspension see it's got it's lowered down got the old hot rod rake power rack and pinion steering does have disc brakes 
power disc brakes. It's a uh, 350 uh, Chevy engine, 350 trans, Edelbrock uh, four barrel, Edelbrock intake. Does have headers. Um, uh, does have air. We do have to charge the air. Uh, HEI distributor. truck man neat I like his little hot rod flames on it I thought that was cool wipers work I think we got to adjust the inside door handle I think it's it's another little thing like I say unfortunately the truck's been sitting for about four years he has not been able to drive it I mean, there's a story behind the seat. It's got a, uh, it's got a uh, tilt column. This is a low car steering wheel, but there's a story behind the Ford button on it. Um, uh, like you say, it's 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 cool old truck. Sixty two thirty nine on the odometer. Um, low car shifter. You know, I forgot to ask him about the cupcake. I'm not real sure what that's all about. Um, that new dual dual exhaust Ford nine inch rear end. Oh, oh, it has a three-inch chop on the roof. Can't remember if I mentioned that. Again, they've relocated the fuel tank to the rear. And like I say, there's a uh, magazine article that goes with the truck. Clean underneath. And like I say, good driver. Thing hits the road good. The boys drove it down to put exhaust on it. come off the rubber there yeah I'll try to get all the little details on the parts and stuff that he used see the glass is good um, cause it is kind of cool. And those are 52 Merc caps. You see actually Jordan's got the air on, but like I said, needs to be charged. Good old pressure, fuel gauge works. Again, temp gauge, everything. I don't know if you can actually see it down there. Everything works. Um, I think what it said, one of the tail lights. We got a. It's kind of. It works sometimes, so it's probably a little, little dielectric grease on it. Again, when they sit, yeah, you can see one of them's out. Yeah. So it's just probably the little. The truck sounds great. Yeah. There. Now it's on. <laughs> probably a little dielectric grease. Not much in here. Blower motor does work. Like I say, no radio. Gauges all work. Doors open and close. Again, wipers work. Electric wiper. Yeah, we might we'll check that ball. But again, probably a little dielectric grease. Yeah, make sure you keep track of our inventory guys you can do that at southernmotors.com another great way to keep in touch with us is through our instagram or our facebook page definitely subscribe to our youtube page you can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom uh that way you get a notification every time we post a new video guys oh, just got run over <laughs> thank you buddy or mailman <laughs> yeah, that's cool old truck yeah that tail lights work like i say that's That's a neat truck. Great story. Pretty cool, man. Really cool look, man. This thing going down the road, man. 
Idiots are always good. <laughs> 